Good day, grade 10s. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the precipitation reactions of sulfate and carbonate ions. So let's look at the test for sulfate ions. In this case, we're going to be using barium nitrate and nitric acid. So if you saw in that, and this time they added barium chloride, not barium nitrate, but it makes a difference. So the reaction equation is the barium 2 plus plus your sulfate plus your nitrate forms barium sulfate. Okay, but that is your sulfate ion test and you'll notice that it formed a white precipitate which did not dissolve when we added nitric acid. Now let's look for test for carbonate. So we can add hydrochloric acid two carbonate ions and then we're going to take the gas that we find and we're going to bubble it through lime water. If it goes milky that means that we form carbon dioxide and that means that there were carbon, carbonate ions present. So let's look at the test. Right, so in that reaction you saw that you added the hydrochloric acid to the carbonate ions. So we had the hydrochloric acid to the carbonate ions, we end up with carbon dioxide plus potassium chloride plus in this because it was the potassium carbonate and water. Then if we took that gas and we dissolved it into your lime water you end up with calcium carbonate which is a solid and that is why you end up with this milky precipitate and that's how we know that we've got carbonate ions. So right, I hope that you have learned a little bit about how to test with sulfates and carbonates. Please make sure that you learn it and that you can actually explain to somebody else how to test for them. Thank you great tens, have a great day.